All right, so hopefully everybody can see me. I wore my favorite training shirt. It is Stop Exercising, Start Training. There is a difference. I would say exercising, you're just kind of going through the motions. In training, you're actually training for a specific purpose, to get better, to so improve your quality of life, to decrease pain, improve, improve function, get stronger, whatever it is, right? And I love my favorite Superman, Chuck Taylor shoes. So, you guys get to watch Superman while we work out. So what we're going to do is a few seconds of a quick wake up. So we're going to do just jobs in place. Those are high knees. Ready, set, begin. If you cannot jog in place, you're going to just switch and do your high knee pulls. Otherwise, we are jogging in place. We've got 12 more seconds to go. Keep on jogging in place. Wake up those hip flexors. Come on. Three, two, one. Done. Good. We're going to do make a, hand, a fist with your hands. Butt kicks. Switch side to side. If you cannot do butt kicks, switch to quad pulls. Make them quick. Ready, set, begin. Butt kicks, go. Make it a fist so we don't hurt our fingers. Let's go, let's go. Wake it up. You've got seven seconds to go. Straight leg kicks are next to wake up the hamstrings. Keep cooking for two. One, and done. Good. Straight leg kicks. Right hand to left leg. Ready, set, go. Kick out straight. Wake up those hamstrings. Get the hand involved. Try to chase that toe. Good. Keep it going. You've got eight more seconds for this side. Then we'll switch. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And switch. Good. Left hand. Right leg. Straight leg kicks. Keep swinging that leg. Opposite hand, opposite toe. Keep going. Feel those hamstrings. Wake up. You've got four, three, two, and one. Good. Great. You guys have body weight squats. Hands go out as you squat down. Ready, set, begin. Body weight squats. Keep on cooking with your body weight squats. And stop. We're going to step out one inch. Go. Body weight squats. This is to start getting the hips to warm up and wake up. Keep going with your body weight squats. We're going to step out one more time. Three, two, one, and done. Good. Step out one more inch. Ready to go. Body weight squats. This is the one people love to hate because almost nobody is very flexible in their hips. Got to wake up those hips, people. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, and done. Good. Got it. We're going to do a forward lunge with our arms out to the side. Alternate your legs. Alternate your legs. Ready, set, go. Forward lunges, alternate your legs. Remember, step out and wide. Step out and wide. Push off with your entire foot or shoe back to start. Three, two, one, and done. Good, we're gonna do the same thing. Arms out to the side and reverse lunges. Reverse lunges, go. Arms stay out to the side. Let those shoulders wake up. Keep alternating your legs. Switch from left to right. Keep on alternating. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and done. Good. What we're going to do is a wide squat. Squat down. Going to reach up with the right hand like you're picking an apple. Bring it down. Left hand up. Pick an apple, bring it down. Stay low as you can. Alternate arms side to side. This is to wake up the middle of the back. Stay low. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and done. Good. Shoulder taps. Wake it up. Tall plank position. 
Right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder. Slower is better. Wider at the feet is better, so you keep your hips square to the floor. Ready, set, go. 20 seconds, people. Shoulder tap, side to side, alternate. Right hand, left shoulder, left hand, right shoulder. Keep on alternating. Good. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Burn, burn, burn. Wake up those shoulders for three, two, one, and done. Good. We're all off the floor. Single leg, toe touches. We're going to start on the left leg. Unlock the knee and reach down and touch the ankles. You can touch your shoe to the ground or you can hang onto the wall if you're still trying to get your balance better like I am. Ready? Set. And again, you got 20 seconds each side. I'll shoot. count you down when you're there. Should be going. You got 15 seconds. Left side only. Reach down. Try to touch your ankles. Good, good. Keep cooking. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Got him. You are switching to the right side. Stand on the right leg. Unlock the knee. Both arms reach down, try to touch the ankle. Ready, set, go. 20 seconds, people. Not too bad. 20 seconds ain't too bad. You can do anything for 20 seconds, even if that means standing on one leg. Keep on reaching for those ankles. Four, three, two, one, and done. Good, okay, a couple more things to go. We are all doing those high knee pulls now. Interlock the fingers over the knees, pull up towards the chest. Ready, set, begin. Let's go. Wake it up, wake it up, wake it up. You got 15 more seconds. We're all going to do those quad pulls next. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Four, three, two, and one. Got them. Good. Okay, quad pulls. Reach way back, grab your ankle, pull up, heel to butt, alternate side to side. Ready, set, go. Got 20 seconds. Wake up those quads, wake up those thighs. You got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Got him. All right. Last one is inchworms. Everybody knows inchworms. They're brutal. You do not have to do the push-up because the push-up is coming for the workout. So, just a little more attention and focus for hamstrings and glutes. Feet shoulder width apart. Walk your hands down. Boom, boom, boom. Walk your hands back. Boom, boom, boom. Ready, set, go. You got 20 seconds. This is the last one. I'm just going to check out, make sure we're okay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Got it. All right. We should be done with the warm up. Now, we're going to jump into the workout. Like I said, it's going to be three leg exercises in a row. If you have a weighted object, awesome. Grab it now. We're going to start up in about 30 seconds. If you do not have a weighted object, that should be okay as well. All right? So, just to make sure you guys can hear me and see me. All right, so first exercise, I will show you all three in a row, so don't start yet. We'll do this all together. First exercise is reverse lunge with overhead press. You're just going to do the one leg all the time, so 25 seconds, one leg back. Reach overhead. If you have a weighted object, the weighted object goes overhead. When I say switch, you switch legs. Okay, that's number one. Number two is an alternating mountain climber. That means the right knee goes to the left elbow. Left, right knee goes to the left elbow. So alternating mountain climbers side to side. That's number two. Number three is a single leg bridge. So we're trying to wake up the glutes and hamstrings, obviously. 
So we're going to be face up. One leg is back. The other leg, we hug the knee. Lift the toes up on the down leg. Drive that heel into the ground. There's not that much hip motion, but it's really going to burn. Same thing. Go all 25 seconds on one side. When I say switch, we're going to switch. We've got three rounds. Reverse lunge with overhead presses first. Ready? Set. Here we go. Reverse lunge, overhead presses. Only one leg. You better be going. Go, go, go. You guys are cooking. You got 15 seconds before we switch legs. No break between them, just switching legs. Same exercise. Three, two, one, and done. Good. We're going to switch legs. Ready, set, begin. Overhead presses with your reverse lunges. You better be going. We're cooking for 25 seconds here. Overhead press with your reverse lunges. Good. Nice job. You guys should be cooking. You got 10 more seconds to go. Then we're into mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, because it's fast to wake up the heart rate, it's going to be a shorter circuit. Three, two, one, and done. Got it. Good. Okay, now we're on the floor for your alternating mountain climbers. Remember, right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow. You ready? Set. Begin. Move as fast or as slow as you want. Make sure your hips are low. Make sure your hands are stacked under your shoulders. We don't want our hands way too far away. Eight seconds to go. Keep on cooking. Good, good, good. You got four, three, two, and one. Got them. Good. Okay, remember, we're just going to go to face-up position. Pick a leg, any leg. Interlock the fingers over the knee. Ready, set. Go. Hip ridges. Go. You got 25 seconds each side. You better be driving those hips up. Good. 10 seconds to go, people. You should be feeling your glutes by now. Knowing where the hips and the glutes are. Three, two, one, and done. Good. You're going to switch sides for me. Interlock the fingers, hug the other knee. Ready, set, go. Drive that heel down into the floor. Hips go up tall. Go, go, go. You've got 15 seconds to go now. Keep on driving. Heel into the floor, raising the hips up tall. Seven seconds to go now. You guys are back up in three, two, one. One and done. Got it. Good. All right. So we're back to exercise number one. Reverse lunge with your overhead press. Okay. Remember, one leg, all 25 seconds. Ready, set, begin. Overhead press with your weighted object if you have it. If you don't, no big deal. You should still be feeling this one. Remember to keep the front leg shin vertical. So when you step back, that shin needs to stay nice and vertical. We got six more seconds on this side. Three, two, one, and you're done. Good. Switching legs. No break. Ready, set, go. Overhead press with your reverse lunges. Wake up everything. When your arms go up overhead, you're lengthening through your core and your shoulders and arms. The lunge is for glutes, quads, and hamstrings. Get the calves to help push up. Keep going. Four, three, two, and one. Got it, good. We are down on the floor for that alternating mountain climber. Remember, hands under shoulders, feet out wide. Ready, set, begin. 
Left to right, right to left. Choose your own speed wisely. Don't go too fast. Just make it a burn, baby, burn. Wake it up. Wake it up. Eight more seconds to go, people. Let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one, and done. Got him. We're face up. Single leg bridges. Pick a leg, any leg. Walk that heel back. Interlock the fingers over your knees. Hug the knee. Ready, set, begin. Drive those hips up. Wake up the glutes and hamstrings. I'm already sweating. We're only on round two. Let's go, let's go. You got 15 seconds for that side before we switch. Drive those heels into the ground and drive those hips up. You got three, we got two, we got one, and you're done. We're going to switch sides. For me, I use the left. Now we're on the right. Bear hug. The left knee. Go. Go, go, go. You've got 20 more seconds on that side. Then we're back up for one more round. Keep going. Heels down. Toes are up. Drive those hips up, 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 up. Eight more seconds. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, and one. That's a wrap for round two. We are back up. Standing up tall. Remember to grab your weighted object or no weighted object is necessary for your overhead reverse lunges. One leg at a time. Ready, set, begin. Overhead press with your reverse lunges. All one leg. Ready, go. You should be going. You got 20 seconds. Don't waste a second. Get better every single rep. Step out and wide. Push off on the back foot. Activate your calves. Drive forward. Three, two, one, and done. Got them. Good. We're going to switch legs now. Ready, set, begin. Good. Arms up overhead with your reverse lunges. Remember, keep that front leg, that shin vertical to the ground. Keep cooking, people. We've got 15 seconds left to work. Alternating mountain climbers are coming up next. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Got him. Good. Alternating mountain climbers. We're bringing it down to the floor. Hands and wrists under the shoulders. Left knee to right elbow. Right knee to left elbow. Ready, set, go. You got 30 seconds. Pick your speed wisely. It's not about the speed, it's about the quality. Quality over quantity and speed every single time. You got eight seconds to go. We're gonna stay down low. We're gonna face up for single leg bridges in three, two, one, and done. Got him, good. We're going face up, face up. Pick a leg, any leg. Walk your heel back, lift the toes up to the floor, interlock the fingers over the knees, ready, set, go. Hip lifts, single leg bridges, go, go, go. Time is on, you better be working, you got 20 more seconds on this side. Drive those hips up, activate glutes and hamstrings. Nice job, everybody. Keep it cooking. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. You've got four, three, two, and one. That's a wrap. You're going to switch legs before we get off the floor. Ready, set, begin. Switching that leg. Same thing. Heel down. Toes are up. Activating glutes and hamstrings. you got ten more seconds to go, go, go. Keep on cooking that one side. Good. You got three, two, one, and done. We got them. Good. All right. So that is the end of circuit number one. You guys better be sweating because I'm sweating. All right. So you guys have about a minute, minute and a half to take a break, grab a breather, 
wipe that sweat off, and definitely grab a drink. So remember, three legs in a row. Now we're gonna get three arms in a row, all right? So take a nice break. Get yourself some water. You're gonna need it. All right, so circuit number two, we're not gonna start yet, but I'm gonna walk you through every one of the exercises. You can stick with a weighted object if you have it. If you don't, no big deal. First one is a squat to overhead press. So if you have one object, hold it with both hands. If you have two objects, one in each hand. Butt back, weight in the heels, squat to press. Butt back, weight in the heels, squat to press. That's number one. 45 seconds of that first exercise. Number two is your cardio-based exercise. It is just called shadow boxing. So you're just going to move your arms out. Straight arm punches. Bring your palm down to the ground, shadow boxing. It's okay to move your legs a little bit and be on the balls of your feet, okay? Number three is going to be shoulder taps. Most people know this one. You're in a tall plank position. Hands are under the shoulders. Feet are super wide. Right to left, left to right. We did that in the warm-up for this reason. Okay, 30 seconds on that one as well. We should be about ready to go. So go ahead and grab your weighted object, if you have it, for squats of thrust. Remember, rack your weight or object up. Keep your elbows in close and tight to the ribs and off the ribs. Ready? Set. Begin. Butt back, weight in the heels. Drive up. Butt back, weight in the heels, and drive up. You better be going. We got 45 seconds of this one, 10 down, 35 to go. Keep on going. Weight in the heels, butt back and down, overhead presses. Squat to press, same thing. Nice and slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. You've got 15 seconds to go before we move on to shadow boxing. So you're gonna rack your weighted object. We're standing tall to throw some punches in five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Weighted object goes off to the side. Stand in tall with me. You can be on the balls of the feet. Nice, soft, bouncy movement in the knees. Hands up in front of the chest. Ready, set, go. Throw them punches. Move at your own pace. Palms go down when you throw your punch. Boom, 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 keep going. 20 more seconds to go. This is your intense one. You don't need to use your legs every time. We just killed the legs. So keep on moving, throw those arms. You got eight more seconds to go. And then we're dropping down to shoulder taps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're bringing it down, hands. Under the shoulders, feet go wide. Ready, set, begin. Right to left, left to right. Go, 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 go. Remember, slower is better. We don't want our hips dancing and it's gonna throw off the back or spine. Keep on shoulder tapping. You got 10 more seconds. And then we're back up off the floor for our squat to overhead press. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. You've got 15 seconds to quickly grab a drink of water if you need it. Grab your weighted object again, whether that be one or two. So either one object with two hands on it or one in each hand. Ready, set, begin. Mini squat down, use those legs to drive that weighted object up overhead. Squat to thrust. You better be going. Got 30 seconds to go. Go, go, go. Squat with your weight in your heels. Use those legs to drive the weight up overhead. Keep going, you're more than halfway there. You got 20 seconds. I think the hardest one is definitely going to be the boxing, the shadow boxing, the middle one. Coming up next in 10 seconds. Got to throw them punches. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, you got 15 seconds to put that weighted object off to the side. Nice soft bounce. Hands up at the chest. Reach out and punch. Ready, set, go. Left, then right. Left, then right. Go, go, go. You got 30 seconds. 22 left to go. You better be moving. Nice soft bounce in the legs. Punch, punch, punch. Make it as quick as you can. You're not holding anything. You don't need to. You got to move. You got to bounce. You got to punch for six more seconds. Shoulder taps are three, two, one second away, and you're done with your shadow boxing. Now, down to the floor. Hands out. Tall plank. Hands are under shoulders. Feet are wide. Ready, set, begin. Go, go, go. 30 seconds. Slower is better. Remember, keeping your hips down towards the floor, staying nice and square. You're more than halfway there. You've got about 12 seconds to go. We've got one more round of our upper body burner before we go back to legs. Three, two, one, and done. Got him. Good. You've got 15 seconds. Hustle back with your weighted object. Four, squat to thrust. This is round three, last and final round. We made it. We're almost there. All right, feet shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Remember, weighted object, rack it up. Ready, set, begin. Weight back in the heels, drive up overhead. Weight back in the heels, drive the arms up overhead. Elbows are nice and close to the ribs. Go, go, go. You got 30 seconds to go for this one. You're already starting to feel it, just slow it down. Slow it down. Or if you have two objects, let go of one safely and just put two hands on one. Got 12 more seconds to go. Your whole body needs to be moving. Use those legs to drive the overhead weight up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. You got them. Good. Second one is... Shadow boxing, so weighted object goes off to the side. Feet apart, hands up, ready, set, begin. Punches, throw those arms out, extend those elbows, push the hands down, punch, 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 and go. Nice, soft, bounce in the legs or knees. Got 15 seconds to go, 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 punch. Punch, punch, let's go. Eight seconds to go now. A little bit faster. A little bit faster. Even faster for three, two, one, and done. Got him, good. Okay, now we're back down to the floor. Shoulder taps. Left to right, right to left. Remember, feet are nice and wide. Ready, set, go. 30 seconds, last time through. Give me what you got. Give me what you got. Remember, slower is better. You gotta keep your hips facing the floor. Good. You are halfway. You got 15 seconds to go. You got about a minute and a half off before the next round of legs. Keep on working. You got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Got them. Good. Okay. Nice job, everybody. You guys can rise up off the floor, grab a towel, wipe that sweat off. You better be sweating. Make sure you're grabbing a drink of water, too. All right. So, like I said, we are back to squats. Let's see, what did I program for you guys for fun? All right, so, remember, we're not starting yet. You're just going to watch me through all three exercises first. So we have pulsing squats first, one called skaters, where we move from side to side. That's your cardio one right in the middle for the shortest circuit. And then the last one I'm sure you guys will all love to hate me for 
It is a squat hold, which is basically like a wall sit. You can use a wall to sit against if you'd like. I will walk you through how to do that, or you just squat and hold in space. All right, so a pulsing squat, and this is one where you typically want to use a weighted object if you have it. You're gonna hold it goblet style in front of your body, right under the chin and close to the chest. If you don't have one, no big deal. You have three pulses at the very bottom of your squat. Squat down, three, two, one, back up. Squat down, three, two, one, back up. Remember, just a demonstration so far. Number two is skaters. So whatever width you're working with, you want to try to get from side to side. As wide as you want or as skinny as you want. A skater looks like so, where you actually leave the floor, you throw your hands to help you travel the distance, and you're going to go. If you cannot jump, you're just going to move from side to side, just like so. It almost looks like a curtsy or crossover lunge. That's number two for 30 seconds. The last one is a wall sit. So I have the wall behind me down to 90 degrees or parallel with the quads. Arms are just going to be here. If you don't have a wall, just get down into your squat. That one is also 30 seconds, okay? We should be ready. You have two minutes of a break. If Jackie is still with me, she knows nobody gets a two-minute break. So, should be ready to go for goblet squats with those three pulses at the bottom. Ready, set, go. Squat down, three, two, one, back up. Squat down, three, two, one, back up. Squat down, three, two, one, back up. Keep going. You've got 30 more seconds of squat pulses. You're just adding those three bouncy movements at the very bottom. Three, two, one, back up. Good. 20 seconds to go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. You've got 10 seconds to go. Skaters are coming up next in six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Got him. Good. Weighted object off to the side. You guys have 30 seconds for skaters moving from side to side. Looks like this. There to there. If you cannot jump and leave the floor, just foot tap and foot tap. But you better be moving fast. Ready, set, go. Skaters. It's like you're skating, hence the name. Make it as challenging as you can. Leave the floor. Tap the foot behind you. Add the arms if you can to make it look athletic. Stay down low. We're moving. We're moving side to side for eight more seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one, and done. Got it. Good. You guys are squat holding. 30 seconds. Ready. Set. Begin. Squat and hold. Get as low as you can. Shift your weight into the heels. Hands can be anywhere. Doesn't bother me. You just got to get low and hold that bottom position. You're halfway there. 15 seconds left. Hold that bottom position. Burn, baby, burn. I'm gonna get you by round three, trust me. Three, two, one, and done. Good, rise up. Make sure you grab your weighted object. Four, goblet style pulsing squats. Ready, set, begin. Squat, three, two, one, back up. Squat down, add your pulses, three, two, one, back up. Hold your pulses, three, two, one, back up. Good, you better keep on going, you got 30 more seconds. Weighted object or not, this has got to be tough. Keep cooking, you're halfway there. When you're squatting, shift your weight back in your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes at the bottom of every squat. Add those three pulses to get stronger at the weakest part of the squat, the bottom. Four, 
three, two, and one. Got him. Good. Pulsing squats are done. Weighted object goes away. We have our skaters for cardio. Side to side. Remember, side to side. Ready, set, go. Side to side skaters. If you cannot leave the floor with your feet, step and tap, step and tap, step and tap, step and tap. We're dancing. You better be moving. We're about halfway there. 15 seconds. Keep it going. Got to get your heart rates up right in the middle. Just the way I like it. Wall sit or squat hold. Coming up in three, two, one, and done. Got it. Good. Squat hold is just an air squat. Or you can squat and do a wall sit against the wall. Feet nice and wide, toes turned out or straight. Ready, set, squat, and hold. Hands can be anywhere. Prisoner style, arms out, cross the chest. Anywhere you want your hands. You gotta get your butt low and hold. Just cause I get up, doesn't mean you get to get up. You got 12 more seconds. Keep your hips down low. Improve your hip mobility. Lengthen the groin muscles. You got three, two, one, and done. We are up. We're up off the floor. Last round, best round, third round. We're back to squat pulses, so grab your weighted object. Remember, we're holding it goblet style if you do have something. Whatever it is, under the chin and close to the chest. Add your three pulses at the bottom. Ready, set, begin. Three, two, one, back up. Three, two, one, back up. Three, two, one, back up. Keep on going with your squat to pulse. Weighted object under the chin, close to the chest. Three, two, one at the bottom and back up. When you squat, the weight needs to be in your heels. You got about 15 seconds to go. Keep on moving and grooving. This is your strength movement. This is the most important. 10 seconds to go before we switch to cardio where we're doing our skaters from side to side. Three, two, one, and done. Got him. Okay, weighted object. Back away. Find your space. Try to challenge yourself this time. Maybe go a little bit wider. Ready, set, begin. Skate from side to side. Try to leave the ground if you can. If you can't, you're just stepping and tapping. Stepping and tapping. You're dancing with yourself at home. Get your heart rates up. Move, move, move. Challenge yourself and go from side to side. You've got 10 more seconds to go. Keep on moving and grooving. You got four, three, you got two, you got one, and you're done. Good, got it. All right, last one is your squat to hold or a wall sit. Remember, you got 30 seconds. This is the last one. It's got to be burning. Ready, set, begin. Squat and hold. You got 30 seconds to stay as low as you can. As low as you can. You just have to sit and hold. Sounds easy. Looks easy. Really, really tough. My legs are burning, and I got up after halfway, so keep on cooking. Stay down low with me for 10 more seconds. We're almost there. Third set, best set. Let's go. Three, two, one, and done. Good. Rise it up. All right. So now you guys have one and a half or two minutes off before we get to our upper body round. So grab a nice break. Wipe the sweat off. Grab some water. All right, so again, I will walk you guys through your three exercises. Let me shut the music off for this one, and then I'll bring it back to you in a second. All right, so remember, just demonstrating first. I have two variations of a push-up for you. The first one is called a dead stop push-up. You can do them on your knees, but for those of us that don't want to have all of our body weight in this region, for whatever the reason is, I'll give you a variation, okay? So first things first, 
dead stop push up means you go all the way down, release the hands, and push back up. All the way down, release the hands, and push back up. You can still do those on your knees. If you don't want to do the dead stop, come all the way down and hold. Three, two, one, push up. All the way down, three, two, one, push up, okay? So push-ups is our strength circuit, that is 40 seconds. You guys have plank up-downs. Plank up-downs look like these. Hand goes where the elbow was. You're walking it up and down. Try to remember to alternate your arms in between or between each rep. The last one is a tall plank with an arm reach. So that just means we're back up in our tall plank push-up position, and you're going to reach your arm out. 30 seconds of this guy, reaching your arms out, okay? So we should be ready. We've got dead stop push-ups where we release the arms, or you're going down to hold your push-up for three seconds and then blasting up. Ready, set, begin. So dead stop push-ups or your three-second hold. Down, release, and push up. Or down, hold, and then push up. You should be working for time. You got 45 seconds, 25 seconds left to go. Dead stop push-up where the hands release off the floor or holding for three seconds at the bottom of the push-up. 12 more seconds to go. Keep on cooking. Keep on cooking. Three, two, one, and done. Got them. Good. All right, so plank up-downs is number two. Begin on your elbows. Feet shoulder-width apart. Ready, go. Hand where the elbow was. Walk your planks up and down. Alternate your sides, left to right. You're about halfway there. You got 15 seconds to go now. Keep walking your planks up and down. Slow and steady wins the race. Same as before, we don't want our hips shaking and baking all over the place. You got five, four, three, two, and one. You should be done, good. Tall plank position, which is your push-up position. Feet go wide. Reach your arms out. Turn your thumb up to the sky. Go. 30 seconds. Reach your arms up to the sky and alternate your arms. You got 20 seconds. Burn, baby, burn. Keep it going. Keep it going. We will save the core and some stretching for last. You got six, five, four, three, two, and one. You got them done. Good. Okay, now we're back to your push-ups. So remember, dead stop push-up. All the way down, leave the hands, push back up, or holding for three seconds. Ready, set, begin. Good. Dead stop push-ups are brutal. So is the hold. Challenge yourself. Try to alternate between the two. Remember, when you are doing your push-ups, keep your index finger straight up, not turned out. Okay. Breathe in as you go down. Breathe out as you go up during the push-up. Keep pushing, people. you got 20 seconds to go. Keep working your push-ups. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out going up. Slow and steady wins the race for strength. you got eight more seconds. Staying down low for plank up-downs. you got three. We're down to two. Your last one, and you're done. Good. Plank up-downs. Low plank position. Feet wide, ready, set, go. Right side, hand where the elbow was. Walk your plank up and down. Alternate your arms, right then left. 
up and down. Good, you got about 10 more seconds to go. Don't quit, you got it, keep pushing. Four, three, two, and one, you got them, good. Remember, we're staying in that tall plank or push-up position. Just adding an arm reach for shoulder stability. Ready, set, begin. Tall plank position. Arms are reaching. Go, go, go. Got 15 seconds, you're halfway there. Almost done, you got second round done. One more to go before we get to core. You got six, five, four, three, we're down to two and a one. Good, got them. You guys are done. We are back to our third and final set of push-ups. Remember, dead stop push-ups or your hold. Ready, set, here we go, here we go, here we go. Dead stop push-up or hold push-up. Keep on working them. Remember to keep your hands pointed straight up. Puts your shoulder in a nice, healthy position. Keep the shoulder healthy. Stay strong for life. You got 22 seconds. You're halfway there, everybody. Keep on pushing. Make sure your tummy is tight. Push-ups are absolutely a total body exercise. If you're struggling, drop to the knees. 10 more seconds to go. You are almost there. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Remember, short circuits now. We got 30 seconds for each one to finish. You've got plank up-downs. Ready, set, go. Hand where the elbow was. Alternate your arms. Walk your planks up and down. Alternate your arms. You're more than halfway there. Got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Got them. Good. Last one is tall plank, push up style with an arm reach. 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Tall plank position, arm reaches. Raise that thumb up to the sky. Go, go, go. Got 15 seconds to go. Third set, best set. I know we're tired, but we got eight more seconds to go. Got about two minutes of a break before we go for cardio core. Three, two, one, and you're done, got him, good. Okay, everybody's off the floor. You got a nice break, wipe the towel, sweat off your face, grab a drink. You're gonna join me for one tough circuit of your core. Got about five more minutes left here. We're almost done. Okay, so I think I will show you three exercises first. Take a quick break. I'll show you the next three core exercises, and then you're pretty much done. We can stretch on our own. You guys can call it a night. Just work with me for six more exercises. So the first three are alternating jackknives, a mini crunch, and one that I call low ab ceiling tap. So I'll show you each of the three. Alternating jackknives. Lay all the way out, arms and legs. Both arms go up and chase one leg or shin or toe. Breathe all the air out as you go up. Climb up and chase your toe. So those are jackknives. A mini crunch. We're gonna do like this with our hips and knees bent to save our back. Stack your hands and you're just gonna bring your fingers up to the sky and do a mini crunch. Okay, so it's not a full sit up, you're just doing a mini crunch up to the sky. Low ab ceiling tap. This is probably the toughest one, although it doesn't look that bad. You're gonna put your hands down under your hips, kick your legs out, 
You're going to bring your legs up and tap the ceiling. Legs out, legs up and tap the ceiling. Okay. So let's get started all the way down on the floor. We're going to start with our alternating jackknives. The first one I showed. Legs are out. Arms are out overhead. Ready, set, begin. Climb up and chase that left shin or toe. Since we're alternating, you're going to switch legs. Breathe out as you come up. Chasing the middle of the shin or the toes. You better be going. You got 12 more seconds. Keep on cooking. Good. You got five, four, three, two, one, and you're done. Good. You got your mini crunch. Hips and knees are up. Stack your hands one on top of the other. Ready, set, begin. Mini crunch, go up and chase that ceiling. Try to pause for a split second at the top. Chase that ceiling and slowly lower your shoulder blades back down to the floor. You got 10 more seconds. Keep on working and sweating. You got four, three, two, and one. Got them, good. Last one, tough one. Low ab ceiling tap. Lay back down. Palms are down. Under the hips. Legs are out. Ready, set, go. Bring your knees into the chest. Try to tap the ceiling with the bottom of your shoes. If you can't lift the hips and tap the ceiling, bring your legs in to out. In to out. Otherwise, up and tap the ceiling. You got 10 more seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, we got five, you got four, three, down to two, and a one. You got them done, good. You got three more core exercises to go. While I open this guy, you get a quick break from me. All right, some of my other favorites. Flutter kicks, I did these with Jackie this morning. Palms down, under the hips, supports the low back. Try to hold a mini crunch at the top. Point your toes and kick the legs like you're kicking in a pool. So that's number one. Number two is side plank, hip bumps. Modifying the exercise first, knees bent, ankles in the floor, hand on top of the thighs. Drive up. Tap the hips down and drive back up. If you can do a full plank, you're here. Tap the hips and drive. Tap the hips and drive. Number three is a low plank on our elbows. We're gonna walk the left leg out to in, right leg out to in. So you're just walking the legs out to in, alternating from side to side. Ready? We're back to your flutter kicks. Lay back down, palms down under the hips. Ready, set, begin. Looks like so. Hold your mini crunch at the top. Hands down under hips, kick those legs. Good, good, good. Keep kicking. Keep on kicking. You got 30 seconds for each one. Only one time through, and then we're done. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You got them done. Good. We're going to a side plank hip bump. We have to do both sides. So pick a side, any side. Ready, set, go. Hand on the thigh. Drive the hip down and bump up. Bump, then up. Bump, then up. Go. 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 You got Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Switch sides like I am. Ready, set, begin. Good. Start with your hips up. Drop down and tap. Drop down and tap and drive those hips right back up. You can modify with your knees bent and you can still do that awesome exercise. Adding that bump. 
changes the entire difficulty. You got three, two, one, and you're done. Got him. Good. So, last one to finish you guys off. Low plank, walking your legs out, alternating foot taps. You can also just hold a plank. 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Tap those legs out, side to side. Slower is better. Keep your hips square to the floor. You're already more than halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Keep walking those legs out. Tap, side to side. Three, two, one, and you're done. Good. Wow. All right. I'm sweating, and I'm not moving as much as you guys are. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. That was basically total body, a little bit of strength movements, a little bit of cardio, lots of core to finish, put you in a lot of core challenging positions all the way through. Really hope you guys enjoyed that one.